most of us growing up as children, we were taught that we have to be logical and have a good common sense to be successful in this world. After all, that is the world's recipe for success, right? But to be a follower of Christ, what is the recipe to be a follower of Christ? At least what is one of the recipe to be a follower of Christ? I was reading Luke chapter 5 recently, and I came up with a very interesting perspective, and I think it was the Holy Spirit that kind of revealed it to me, because I've read that chapter quite a few times, and I've never really came up with that perspective. And I want to share that with you, so don't go anywhere. So in Luke chapter 5, we have Jesus speaking to a number of people by the seashore. And there were so many people that he decided to go in a ship and preach from the ship. Now afterwards, the owners for the ship, he got talking to them. And one of the owners was Simon Peter. And he said to Simon, go launch your net out in the deep. And Simon said, Lord, listen, I have been toiling all night and we've caught nothing so it doesn't make any sense to do it it's not logical it's not common sense if there was a fish in, if, there, if there was no fish last night where are we going to get fish from tonight or today right and christ said go so they said well they went and he went and launched his net and so many fish appeared that it broke the net. So against Peter's good logic, because he was an expert fisherman, right? You want to know about fishing? You go to Peter. Against his expertise, he followed Christ and he listened to him. And there was fish galore until the fish net broke. Peter and the other men realized in that this is not normal. We were just fishing. There was, so, there was no fish, and now there's so much fish. They realize that there's something about this man that's not normal. And in verse 11 it says, And when they brought their ships to land, they forsook all and followed him. No, it got me thinking. Peter went to work. And his other friends went to work. They have their, maybe their wives and their children at home. Can you imagine going to work and not returning home to your family? And just decided that you're going to forsake everything and follow this person you have just met for the first time? Does that even make sense? No, it doesn't. Now, in our day and age, I was thinking if my dad should leave home and say he's going on an errand or he's going to work, and I hear that he's not returning home. I would think he's lost his mind. Yes, I would. To say he's going to follow someone or the, the, maybe God told him to go somewhere to do something. It doesn't seem logical. It doesn't seem sensible to do. Sometimes the way of Christ is not necessarily the most logical way. It seems from our own human eyes because he says, our ways are not his ways and our thoughts are not his thoughts because why? Because his ways and his thoughts are much higher than ours. And sometimes the logics don't really play, our human logics don't play into his thoughts and his plans for our life. God might be requiring you to do something today. He might be asking you, he might be begging at your heart to do something today, but it doesn't seem logical. It seems very contrary to how normal things should be. After all, you would think Christ would say, go tell your family bye-bye. Go, go bid your wife bye. And then you come after. Sometimes the ways of Christ is not our ways. But it is by faith that we have to follow him. Christ has been taking me in a faith journey for a couple of months now. And I think he wants to take all of us in a faith journey. The way sometimes is not logical. But you know what he says? He says in Jeremiah that 
the sun is not going to be our light by day and the moon is not going to be your light. And, and what is that? He says that he says my glow is going to be your light forever. But he's basically saying that it's not what we see. That it's not what sounds logical or what looks logical or what sounds practical. But it is the spirit within you that's going to direct you day by day by day. So I'm not telling you not to have common sense or not to be logical. I'm saying that our logic and our common sense should come from Christ. It should come from his inspiration and not what makes sense to us as a human. Because no matter how smart you are, no matter how smart I am, no matter how bright we are, no matter how educated you are, at the end of the day, if we're if we're not grounded in Christ, if we don't follow his logic, if we don't follow his leading, then our logics will not lead us through this world. There's a great deception that's going on in this world right now, and deception is only going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. It's only going to it's, it's only going to expand. And to be honest with you, if we if we follow our own logics, our own common sense, we're going to get we're going to drown in that deception. So I encourage you today to have faith in the logics of Christ, in his ways, in his thought, even if we don't understand it, because he will never lead us wrong. To be honest with you, he's never led me wrong. And that's why I could only say he will never lead us wrong. And if, if a day should come when, he, when I feel like he's led me wrong, I will come and tell you. Because I, I know that it will never happen. So until next time, take care.